Welcome to the YouTube video channel for my new book, Seed of Israel, DNA Guide to Tracing Your Jewish Ancestry, available on Amazon in ebook and paperback versions. Links to order your copy are below. Also, be sure to hit that subscribe button to get more videos like this. In this video, I'm going to show you a couple of new online tools for uh, modeling your admixture using your global 25 coordinates and for uh, this example i'm going to use the uh, ashkenazi germany as the reference population for uh, this vi for this video and uh, if you watched my previous video i demonstrated how um, Ashkenazi Germany, German Jews, um, are the most Levantine shifted out of the Ashkenazi groups using the um, Global 25 coordinates. In PCA, um, they are the closest to um, Sephardic Jews and uh, Romaniote Jews and Italian Jews and um, the Levant region. So I just thought, I thought I'd uh, use, uh, continue um, with the Ashkenazi Germany theme and, uh, and see what kind of results that we get with these, uh, with these two uh, online tools here. And uh, this one is called uh, Vahu, Vahu, Vahaduo Tools for G25 Regional Calculators. And so, yeah, it says you use uh, your scaled uh, G25 coordinates and target. And the calculators are um, Global 25 Beta, African Ancestry, SSA, Sub-Saharan African, Amerindian Ancestry, European Ancestry, and Mediterranean Ancestry. And so let's go to Global 25 Beta. And there's all the target regions. And we'll, we will... Uh, We'll paste the coordinates for uh, Ashkenazi Germany. And we're just going to skip distance because we're going to go right to the Nmati calculator and we're going to take a look at the population values. So let's take a, let's take a look at Ashkenazi Germany. Um, so, yeah, I mean, uh, it could be an overfit, but uh, the distance is, uh, is pretty low there at uh, 0.4932 percent and uh, 100 sources as i showed you earlier and uh, we're doing 100 uh one one time cycle so 100 cycles one, one time one cycle through and so ashkenazi germany 43.0 levant 16.6 ashkenazi 15.6 balkan 7.0 sardinian 5.8 Scandinavia, 5.8 Western Euro, 5.6 North Africa, 0.6 South Southern Euro. And now let's add the distance column times 0.25. And uh, you, uh, you get a little bit of a tighter fit there. And let's see what we get with Ashkenazi Germany. And so still, still a good distance there. And we get 47.8 Ashkenazi, 41.2 Southern Euro, 6.6 .6 Levant, 4.4 .4 Sardinian, with the adding the uh, distance column times 0.25. And let's see what happens when we remove Ashkenazi from source. So, see what we get to replace Ashkenazi. And we'll cut that. Over here. Is there enough space? And let's run it again. When this is with that, without the Ashkenazi reference. And so what do you get with Ashkenazi Germany? You get 49.2 Levant, 
18.8 Balkan, 8.6 Southern Euro, 6.2 North, North Africa, 6.2 Sardinian, 5.6 Scandinavia, 5.0 Western Euro, 0.4 Native American. And let's see what happens when we add the distance column 0.25 times. 85.4 Southern Euro, 13.6 Levant, 1.0 North Africa. And let's um, let's try African ancestry. And let's see what we get here. Um, so we get uh, 79.2 West Euro, 18.0 North African, 2.8 Ethiopian for Ashkenazi Germany. And let's take a look at Amer Indian ancestry for Ashkenazi Germany. And no Amer, Amer, Indian, Amer Indian ancestry there. I'm not even going to trace them out for Ashkenazi Germany. And let's take at uh, European ancestry. Let's see what we get here. 51.0 Ashkenazi, 45.0 Southern Euro, 4.0 Sardinian. And let's see what happens when we remove Ashkenazi from source. Let's see. Okay, I think there's three there. We'll get rid of those. I guess there's more. One more. I'll do that one more time. <laughs> one more time. Okay, now uh, just remove the space here. Okay, great. So now we remove Ashkenazi from source and let's see what we get for Ashkenazi Germany. Well, we get 100% Southern European. And this is, this, is in the, this is with the Euro, European Ancestry Calculator. With only your only European reference um, reference groups uh, regions in source. So Ashkenazi Germany, hundred percent, hundred percent Southern Euro, and okay. Let's and then the last one, Med ancestry, Mediterranean ancestry, and. See what we get here. So we get fifty Ashkenazi Germany, fifty two point six East Med, twenty nine point zero Levantine, eight point four West Med, 
7.0 North Africa, 3.0 Atlantic. And let's see what we get when we add distance column, 0.25. And we get 71.6 East Med, East Mediterranean, 21.4 Levantine, and 7.0 North Africa for Ashkenazi Germany. And lastly, I'm just going to show you really quick this Ancestry calculator. Um, it basically makes it easier to run the admixture calculator with the data sheets that um, uh, David Waslowski uh, provides by his uh, Eurogenes blog and that he updates frequently with new modern and ancient populations. And uh, so instead of having to go, you know, open up the data sheet, copying and paste the coordinates into Vahoduo, uh, well, David does it for you here with the, this Ancestry calculator, and I'll leave a link to it below as well. And so here's, uh, you paste your global 25 coordinates there um, in, this, in this field here. And as you can see, I've already pasted um, Ashkenazi Germany, the Ashkenazi Germany global 25 coordinates. The model I'm using is modern scaled. These are scales. These are scaled coordinates. Uh, there's a couple optimizers. One of them is Ada Grad. The other one is Adam. And so I already ran this one. So I'm just going to scroll down. You have the learning rate. You have the L2 penalty initializer, STD dev, number of steps, and the calculation. Uh, you can see the loss, mixed loss, L2 loss, and the distance, and and these are the population values for Ashkenazi Germany that that uh, that came up. It, it's um, Italian Campania, 19.0%. Tunisian Jew, 11.9%. Greek Coast, 10.7%. French Corsica, 10.0%. Romaniote Jew, 5.7%. Cypriot, 5.4%. Italian Jew, 4.5%. Sephardic Jew, 3.8%. Yemenite Marah, 3.1%. Lebanese Christian, 1.3%. Italian Apulia, 0.8%. Greek Central Anatolia, 0.6%. Italian Abruzzo, 0.6%. And other, 22.7%. And then you can see um, the results displayed um, in, a, in a bar chart, in a bar graph. As you can see, you know, there's Italian Campania, 19.0. Tunisian Jew, Greek Coast, etc. So, and then I'm going to, I'm going to show you the, what the results are with using the Atom optimizer and just calculate and it's, it's fairly quick. Almost done. There we go. And let's see. So there's the distance there. And let's see, we got Italian Campania, 20.0%, Sephardic Jew, 8.8%, Italian Jew, 5.8%, Lebanese Christian, 5.5%, Moroccan Jew, 5.1%, Sardinian, 4.8%, Greek Coast, 3.5%, Cypriot, 2.0%, Tunisian Jew, 1.8%, Italian Apulia, 1.4%, Italian Abruzzo, 1.2%, Samaritan, 1.1%, Yemenite Marah, 1.1%, Bedouin B, 1.0%, Ashkenazi Poland, 1.0%. And then you get the, uh, the trace results under 1%. Greek Crete, Ashkenazi Ukraine, Italian Umbria, French Corsica, Ashkenazi Germany, Romano Jew, Italian March, Greek Trabzon, Greek Izmir, Druze, Ashkenazi Belarusia, Assyrian, Saudi, Italian Basilicata, Armenian Hemsheni, Ashkenazi Lithuania, and other 24.9%. And again, there's the values there that you can see visually displayed in a bar graph, in a bar chart. And 
I'm not going to run run these, but I'm just going to show you the other models that you can use. Now you can use your uns, unscaled coordinates for modern and uh, ancient. Um, and you can do uh, the what I'm running. What I just ran was modern scaled uh, individual populations, but you can also run the modern population averages and also the ancient population averages. And you can also run your own uh, custom calculators too. Um, and again, the two optimizers, Adagrad and Adam, and you get slightly uh, different results depending on the optimizer. So yeah, uh, definitely uh, recommend checking these two um, new mixture modeling tools out. And uh, yeah, just uh, get it, uh, continuing that journey uh, to find out uh, your ancestry. Pretty exciting. And thanks for watching.